Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Dororo episode 6. In the last episode we got to meet Mio, the girl who helped out taking care of Yakimaru who got injured. You know, he has to get used to hearing sounds and he's still getting distracted a lot and he just can't handle all the noise. And Mio, also with her singing, she's helping Hyakimaru out and Dororo as well. And now the situation isn't looking really well. Hyakimaru went out to fight against a demon, even though he was still really injured, but he went there to get together with that old guy. And in the meantime, Mio went out for her nighttime job. And yeah, it's basically just prostitution. And yeah, while she was doing her jobs, so to speak, Dororo went to check on her and yeah, he saw the whole thing happening. So quite a heavy ending last episode and I'm sure this episode is gonna be super heavy as well, but I'm still excited to watch it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's gonna be intense, <laughs> but I'm excited. Okay, a short recap. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh no. He lost half of his leg. Yeah, he got this voice. Oh, yeah, a lot happened in the last episode. And like they just said, Hikimara also lost half his leg. I mean, like, he just got his real leg back. Why does he already have to lose half of it? But it got taken by the demon, so maybe if he take out the demon, it will grow back. Maybe. Baby. Yeah, Mia in the opening. Now we know her. Me five. Well, yes, child, say yeah. Give me fire. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, she just needs to act as if nothing happened, but... Oh. 
uh, Dororo knows what happened. It hurts. This really hurts. Oh. I still have bad feeling about everything. It's amazing how she can stay so positive even though her situation is it's, I don't know. <laughs> oh, back to them. Why does he want to go to war so bad? <sighs> if that if that didn't come through Okay good he realized that Oh. Oh yeah, so he d so he doesn't know that he's actually he, he's supposed to have an older brother.
<laughs> this oh this so sweet Yeah, the color changed. Even though it's white. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I'm scared. I'm scared that something's gonna happen to any of them. Oh my god. No, I don't trust it. <sighs> She's walking towards that camp, which is preparing for war. I just have... I can't... <laughs> he just shoved it into his mouth.
Oh, not again. Oh, sh That should be beautiful, but I don't trust this. Okay, okay. Oh shit. No, 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 stop. St oh my god, I can't take this. I'm so worried that something's gonna happen to her. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. He already went to challenge it. Oh my god. Okay, things are gonna go down. Oh, she's even more beat up than before. <gasps> no, 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 <gasps> no. Fuck. And it's like even harder to battle in that, um, in that sand. <laughs> oh, he stuck a blade in his leg. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. What happened to those kids? Oh. oh, he got his leg back. Oh, God. And his arms? Did he got his arms back? <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Then I hear, oh shit. Oh. oh no, okay, he didn't, oh she, oh she's still alive, she's still alive. Oh, now he lost it. Now.
close to He's really like a beast. Can you sense this? No. <laughs> the first thing he said was her name. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, these facials <laughs> Uh, I knew I knew it wouldn't go well. I knew it wouldn't end well. Oh, damn it. Okay, so that was episode 6 and I was totally not prepared for this. I was totally not prepared for this. It's brutal. It, it was so brutal. Oh my god, my, my heart, my heart. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm so done. <laughs> it was just... Mia was such an important character in this show. I think out of everyone in this sh series so far, Mio is the one who made Hyakimaru the most human. I think. Now, by spending time with her, he gained, I believe, a lot more new emotions, like th and experienced things he didn't before. And it started, of course, with his hearing. He, like, all the noises around him just annoyed him. And he just couldn't handle it. Just her singing voice was the only thing he found pleasant to listen to. So that already helped him in a lot of ways. And also, like, near the end of the episode, we saw how her singing voice just calmed his soul down. You know, he had, like, those red traces in his soul. And that just disappeared when he listened to her singing. So, so that just shows how much her singing voice and her whole existence 
meant for him, even more than Dororo ever did. I mean, like, he has traveled with Dororo for a longer time, and of course, he's also, like, taking care of Dororo as well, he cares for him as well, but in a whole different way than he cares for Mio, you know? They were also way more intimate with each other. And it wasn't just one-sided that Hyakimaru felt more comfortable around Mio, but op opposite as well. Of course, Mio, because of her job, she just feels really uncomfortable around men. And you see that also in her behavior, like she keeps like fixing her clothes. And yeah, she just feels uncomfortable by being stared at. But you know, when Hyakimaru touched her face like that, and she said like, Oh, I just don't feel grossed out when you do it. That was just so sweet. I love that scene. It was so... It has so much meaning to it. And that's why I really loved it. And yeah, just Mio was such a powerful woman in this series, you know. Even though she had such a shitty life, basically, her whole situation. It couldn't be any worse, almost. Uh, but she still didn't feel any ashamed at all, you know, that's just what she had to do in order to survive and take care of all the other children. And that's what she said to Dororo, and you know, Dororo really understood that as well. And he also compared her with his real mother, you know, they the way they handled their situation was re like totally different than the opposite, while Mio really did those jobs in, in order to survive. His mother, on the other hand, apparently refused to do that job in order to survive. So in those aspects, they're completely the opposite. But Dororo still compares them and finds them equally impressive. So yeah, we got to hear a bit of a backstory from Dororo as well. But yeah, it's also I think the first time we actually saw Dororo cry or like we didn't really see it, like they hit his face, but still we know he cried. Luckily, Hyakimaru defeated the demon and got his leg back. And I thought he would gain another thing as well, but it's just his leg he got back, I believe. So that's the only good thing about this whole episode. Oh, the final scene was just so intense. We already knew that something bad would happen when we saw that man hiding in the bushes and all those men following Mio towards that house. But I didn't expect it to kill off all the children like that. It was so brutal and intense. I just couldn't take it. And just the most beautiful part of this whole episode was just the end, you know? When Dororo said, Mio... Oh my god, I can't... Oh, just re remembering it makes me tear up again. But just when Dororo... I can't speak. Oh my god, I can't speak. Um... But you know, those the things Dororo said to Hyakimaru when Hyakimaru went out of control and what Dororo said to him in order to calm him down, you know, um, I'm gonna try to say it again without tearing up. You know, when Dororo said, you know, Mio won. She didn't lose. She got those seeds for the grain petty of how they called it. She won. Sorry, guys. Just remembering it makes me already tear up, so I'm gonna end the video here because this is, go this is getting nowhere. <laughs> so I hope you still like my reaction. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're curious to see my other reaction videos, feel free to check out my channel. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.